Thanks for trying. I'm gonna be with Jason now. Oh my God. What? Where would Shale go to be with Jason? Sweetwater River. We have to go. Guys, we have to go. Carol, please. doing here you shady bitch I thought there'd be other girls so I think it's so great you're all getting a chance to say goodbye to Jason tomorrow not all of us I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye <laughs> I hope this isn't weird, but Jason is crazy handsome. The handsomest. Something tells me he would have liked you. Why did you invite me tonight? Why not Tina or Ginger? Aren't they your besties? And yet, that night at the pep rally, after I had my panic attack, you helped me. Not them. Carol, you're allowed to say goodbye to your brother, but why does it have to in be in front of people? Yeah. Everything with Jason's been so public. Everyone has an opinion, has been gossiping, saying he got what he deserved or that he didn't. I just, I want everyone to know that I'm, I'm sorry. And that Jason deserved a, a better family than what he got. Then do it. I'll help you. And let Penelope and Clifford Blossom do their worst. Oh, they will. They'll kill me. You ready? Just about. You go ahead, I'll be down. your sell by date ladies faux lesbian kissing hasn't been taboo since 1994. veronica welcome to the river vixens betty better luck next time i know what you need cheryl because i know who you are you would rather people fear than like you so you traffic in terror and intimidation you're rich so you've never been held accountable but i'm living proof that certainty, that entitlement you wear on your head like a crown, it won't last. 
eventually there will be a reckoning. Or maybe that reckoning is now, and maybe that reckoning is me. Betty and I come as a matching set. You want one, you take us both. You wanted fire? Sorry, Cheryl, bombshell. My specialty's ice. To my surprise and chagrin, mother added you to the guest list in case you're tempted to steal our silver candlesticks. Don't. We'll be searching bags. Wait. If you're in pain, this is a horrible week for you. I'm sure that's why you're being particularly obnoxious. Maybe. What's your point? Look, I don't want to be locked in a cat fight to the death with you. That only ends in one way. Mutual annihilation. Agreed. So, can't we just be friends? Or at least frenemies? If you really want to extend an olive branch, come to a sleepover I'm having. Fine. Sure. When? The night before the memorial. I don't want to spend the night before I bury my brother alone. I cannot believe you just threatened a gangbanger. I've dealt with worse in the East Village. I just hate when people disrespect my cinematic experience. How about a refill? Yeah, Kev. How about a refill? Cherry cola, as always. We own our truths by telling it like it is. I'll start the game with Veronica Lodge. Naturally. Let's begin with the day you and your mob wife of a mother came to town for a so-called fresh start. Tell us, Veronica, what's so fresh about defiling Archie Andrews in a closet? That was your doing. Moving on to Dear Daddy Lodge. Isn't it true that your father, from prison, illegally purchased the drive-in land? Which makes me wonder, what else is he doing from behind bars? Well, I can't speak for my father, but I can think of someone with a very dirty secret. Specifically, Cheryl killing her very own brother. Everyone knows how much I loved my brother. Exactly. But did you love him maybe in ways that a sister shouldn't love a brother? And as you got older, Jason started to think it was strange, unnatural. So he chose Polly over you. So you shot him between the eyes with one of your father's many hunting rifles. This is riveting. I can't breathe. This game is sick.